The U.S. Navy won one of its biggest battles on the island of Guam, but we're not talking about World War II. We're talking about 1980. It happened when the Navy turned to AME's Technicode Phenolic Coil Coating for help in their never-ending battle against corrosion. The enemy was salt air atmosphere. After years of replacing air conditioning coils every 10 to 18 months on this tiny Pacific Island outpost, the Navy decided to try coils coated with Technicoat. 1,100 coils were installed at a Ghana Naval Air Station base housing. Those coils were replaced over 12 years later, not because they failed, but because their aging units were crumbling away around them. This is a section of one of the 1,100 coils installed by the U.S. Navy on the island of Guam in 1980. In spite of ocean breezes, blazing tropical sun, and blowing sand, the coil ran day and night year-round for 12 years and was in perfect working order when its unit was replaced in 1992. That adds up to over 105,000 hours in the ultimate real-time salt spray test. Russell Flynn of United Technologies Carrier writes, This coil saw service on Guam for some 12 years at the Naval Air Station. When the unit was removed, it was the only external portion of the unit that was intact. The sheet metal portion was so badly corroded that when the unit was lifted, the compressor fell through the base pan and the sides crumbled. Separate testimony from Lennox Industries states, Here at Lennox, we have been installing Technicote coated coils since 1981 and have probably installed 100,000 units all over the world. While checking our field service reports, it was noted that the number of Technicoated coil leaks reported was zero. National and international firms, as well as in-the-know engineers, are now specifying and using Technicoated coils in various industries including oil and gas, paper mills, restaurants, hotels, water treatment plants, food processing plants, chemical labs, retail stores, health spas, and the list continues to grow. One such firm is Magic Air in Wichita Falls, Texas. Typical application, uh, the coils go out uh, standard configuration mm -hmm. every day, uh, but we do have a requirement on uh, particular jobs uh, that we have to do this. We've sold product in wineries, uh, products in uh, salt, air, atmosphere, you know, uh, conditions, and uh, basically it's done to add life to the coil. Here's a, an example of a uh, coil that's been treated and not. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, it's been sent through a salt spray test, and you can see the oxidation that occurs. What it does is uh, uh, eventually cause the deterioration of the, the fin itself. Uh, again, the the coated section of this is going to have probably five to ten years added to the life of the surface. Almost any coil that's outside, usually condensing coils, you see a phenolic coating such as this on those coils on the condensing units because they're outside in a corrosive environment and uh, that's the only way that you can protect it from that. I worked at a, on a maintenance crew and the coils that were coated with this phenolic coating, when we would go to clean them out, they just, I mean, you just squirt them with a little water and, and it would just, you'd see all this dirt and all kinds of stuff running out of those coils and it would clean instantly. Whereas the ones that had all this scale and everything, you could almost never get them clean. The Technicote Multi-Step Factory Applied System is proven to be the ultimate in corrosion protection against the salt air atmospheres, as well as many other destructive environments, with no measurable loss in efficiency of the coil. Coating Research Inc. of Fort Worth, Texas reveals the results of extensive testing. As a general rule, this process will extend the life of a coil by a factor of 10 times as compared to an uncoated coil. The U.S. Naval Facilities Engineering Command Southern Division specifications for coated coils are the most demanding. They require 720 hours in salt spray fog test. Initially, Technicote passed this test at 1,592 hours. Through research and development, AME continues to look for improvements in the process and technology of Technicote. And after 35 years with the original formula, AME now offers a substantially improved Technicote that helps resist not only salt air, but also UV and acetic acid exposure. This improved Technicote coating has been tested with these new elements to over 3,400 hours, more than four times the Navy requirements. 
efforts to further improve Technicode formulation continue and are an ongoing philosophy at AME. Bard Industries describes Technicode as the Cadillac of coatings. Technicode has so little effect on thermal efficiency that Lennox Research and Development Lab described it as negligible, less than 1%. York Research and Development found it to be 0.8%. Because Technicode is modified phenolic, it may be applied to equipment that normally vibrates, flexes, expands, or contracts during use. That makes it the perfect coating for coils. It also will tolerate more abusive handling and subsequent damage to coated fins than other coating systems, such as e-coating, cold set epoxy, or synthetic solvent-based systems. Technicoat is so flexible that all major OEMs of HVAC and refrigeration equipment are able to send coils to AME to be coated in the flat and formed after, and it would be difficult to find a coil too big for AME to Technicoat. Have a unit that you need the coil or coils protected? That's no problem. At AME, we have federally certified, licensed, trained, and experienced technicians that can take any unit, split, or packaged, disassemble, pull, and coat the coils, then reassemble the unit, ensuring that it meets the OEM's original specifications. Need more than just coil protection? With AME's specialized service, upon request other parts of the unit needing protection can also be technicoded. If you would like to increase your sales by helping your customers win their battle against corrosive atmospheres, AME can provide you with the ultimate defense against coil corrosion, the factory applied Technicoat system. In this morning's Power for Penny segment, owning a home near the water can be fun, but it does have its disadvantages, like rust and corrosion. JEA's Bruce Dugan has a way to fight back. Living near the beach has its obvious advantages and its disadvantages. In coastal areas, we all know that salt air from the ocean can be devastating to things made of metal. This is the outdoor condenser unit of a central air conditioning system. And this is the coil where the heat from your house is put outside. And this is what it's supposed to look like, both this side and that side. Take a look over here and take a look at what the salt spray from the ocean does to these aluminum coils. Jack Hines has worked on air conditioners in the Jacksonville area for years. Yeah, deterioration like this, Bruce, is very typical here at the beach. What you can see here is the uh, the coil that has been uh, corroded and almost non-existent here, this particular coil wasn't treated in any way. Typically, Bruce, uh, inland, a unit would last approximately 12 to 14 years before you'd experience any real bad corrosion problems. Out here at the beach, it would cut it approximately in half. But look at the air conditioner next door. Uh, these units are approximately the same age. I would put them within months or at, at the most a year apart. If they are the same age, shouldn't the coils on both units be crumbling? Bruce, they should be identical, but the only difference is the process, and as you can see, it has saved this coil. The process Jack is talking about is a protective chemical coating that is applied to the coils at the factory. That's why these coils look reddish brown instead of the familiar aluminum color. If you're planning to replace your outside condensing unit, consider coating the coils. This must be special ordered. Your contractor probably doesn't have coated coils in stock, so you'll have to ask for them. It will cost a little more, but it could double the life of your air conditioner. And it should be factory applied to new units. Aftermarket spray-on coatings are available, but they're just not as effective. Any extra money that you would put into a protective coating for a coil and or cabinet would be well worth it in the long run. It's clear to see that at the beach, coil coatings can save you big bucks, and that means you'll be getting more power for pennies. I'm JEA's Bruce Dugan for Good Morning Jacksonville Saturday. JEA has a fact sheet if you'd like it on the procedures they just showed you. You can call them at 632-SAVE. Also, if you have any more questions, leave your name and number, and an energy analyst will call you back.